Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look for you guys. Um, using some unique pigments. I actually have a picture that I found online that inspired me to do a sexy Valentine's Day look for you guys. So yeah, if you like what you see here, uh, please keep watching. Bye. So I already primed my eyes and my face. I used my MAC paint pot in Painterly and um, the Professional from Benefit. And I'm going to take my L'Oreal Smoldering Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and just apply that on my waterline and tight line. And also on my outer V. We're going to blend that out with a pencil brush. Don't mind my face. I just woke up. It's probably a little swollen still. I know every time I wake up, my eyelids are swollen. Um, is that normal? I don't know. Let me know if this happens to you guys too. So next I'm going to take Unique Pigment in Risqué. It looks like that. It's like a dark gray color. I'm going to take that same pencil brush and go over what we just did. I have Enrique Iglesias on Pandora right now because this is a Valentine's Day look. So I guess we got a little romantic. I don't know if y'all are feeling that or not. But I like Next, let's take that sexy pigment. It's a real pretty, like, rose color, white glitter, something. I'm going to take a flat brush like this to apply that on my lid. Isn't that color like bomb? Looks so good in person. I'm going to take that same pencil brush to just like blend that all in. Then I'm going to take another unique pigment and glamorous. It's like a purple color with a fluffy blending brush. And just apply that on your crease. I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and go over that gray color. So that purple that we use, I'm going to mix that purple with some black. Then I'm going to take Heartbroken from Unique. I love this pigment. It's the bomb. Dot com. Just a little bit though, because this shit goes a long motherfucking way. Just on top. Just to blend that out a little bit more. To like fade into like kind of like a soft pink color. Yes, now we're talking. Go back in with sexy. If you want going with a white too, because you see how I went a little too crazy here. Just going with a white. Let's take a uh, Maybelline. I studio with my um, Sigma E05 brush. Let's do that cat eye. So we're going to be using false lashes for this look and the one positive of using false lashes is that if you mess up with your cat eye, it's like really forgiving because the false lashes kind of, kind of, um, what's the word? 
covers the cat eye anyway. So if you have problems with your cat eye, it's really not a big deal when you when you use false lashes. So that's a mascara. If you're wearing false lashes, you don't have to put mascara on. I just like to kind of like prep my eyelashes for the false lashes. And I'm gonna be using these Demi 102s from Ardell. Nothing too dramatic today. With my duo glue, I don't know, the green one with the little brush. I love this one. The only thing, it's really messy. Like the glue gets kind of stuck in here and then when you squeeze it closed, it kind of goes everywhere. So it's not something I can have in my professional kit because the glue just gets everywhere. But I'll use it for myself because I can just stand it somewhere. Alright, I'm going to set my face with my NARS pressed powder and my powder brush from Real Techniques. This brush is so big but I love it. Just covers my face like super fast. You know I got a real wide face. My under eyes I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs. Uh, what is this? I don't know. I guess they consider it their contour palette. I don't know the exact name of it, but it looks like that, which I love, especially the banana color. So I just like apply it like as if I'm baking and then I go in and blend it out. One time I forgot to blend it out and <laughs> it looks so white. It was such a huge white cast. It was really funny. Not huge because I've seen worse, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows using my MAC pencil. I will definitely be getting that Anastasia brow definer, John. Um, I never got the brow whiz because I feel like my eyebrows are too thick for that. So now that she came out with that brow definer it's like a thicker uh, pencil. I will definitely be trying that shit out. So then I'm gonna go in with this crown from NYX and clean all that up so we can get a crisp eyebrow. And then actually for up here, I'm gonna use some concealer. And I do it really lightly, just with the brush, just like brush that on. And here I use a little bit more tension, pressure, tension, pressure. I'm gonna take that same brush with the concealer and blend under. So you're probably like, B, what about that harsh line under? I got you, don't worry. I can find my fucking brush. Here it is. So that same brush we use, um, the um, the right pigment, pigment. Softly blend that upwards. And if you want, you can put um, you know, a shadow here too as well. I don't know if I'm going to. Maybe I'll do my whatever highlight I decide to use. I'll put that on there. See how like blended that looks now? Like it's very seamless, very transitional. Is that the word? If you want to go in with the more black too to make it more sexy, by all means, go ahead. Just mainly focus it on the outer part. You know what? I actually might do that. Because once you add like the lashes and the eyeliner, I feel like it kind of takes away from the shadows. So sometimes I do go back in and intensify the black or the outer color let's go in with some bronzer i'm using this nyc sun and bronze bronzing powder and i'm using this eco tools dome the bronzer brush it's fucking huge but you know what i have wide face so i like big brushes for bronzing, you're gonna create a three, an E. Y'all know what I mean. Just, just follow me. 
and go down on your neck. Make sure you get that double chin. Because, you know, we can't be having that. Think of this as like shadows, even though I didn't do it today. But um, the reason why I like to bronze and then contour is this is creating like a transition color. So that contour color, which is going to be a little bit darker, can blend better, easier. Does that make sense? Kind of like the shadows, how we use the transition color. So I'm going to go back into my... Mark Jacobs palette and take that contour color. I hope you guys can see a difference too. Maybe I'll do a video more in depth of this, but you see how a bronzer looks so much different from a contour color? See how this is more cool tone and this is more warm and like shimmer. So I'm gonna take Singa Sigma Angled Kabuki F84. You can also go in with like a smaller brush like this with contour, kind of like chisel out where you're going to contour and blend upwards. Remember I have a wide face so I contour here to give the illusion that I have a slimmer face. And also, I got a big ass forehead, so we gotta cover that up. And again, get that double chin. Um, I always contour my nose just because I feel like it's not complete unless you contour. So, just like really light and get a real fluffy brush, um, it makes it so much easier to blend. So, if you guys, did you guys see what I just did? How I pushed the um, banana powder up against the nose. It kind of slimmed it out right there. And just take the tip and put a little bit right there. And if you have to go back to blend some more, then just do so. I'm going to bake a little bit. I think I'm going to use Milani, Manan, brrr, Milani's Baked Blush in Berry Amore. Looks like that. I should probably finish my lower lash, right? I'm just going to smoke it out. I'm going to take a black shadow. And smoke that bitch out and then just highlight the um, inner part with the sexy pigment mascara brow gel I'm gonna use the Carly Bible palette and I think I'm gonna take this color right here to have that Oh, and I'm going to use it up here. Alright, finally for lips, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Lip Pencil in Plum Brown. Very lightly, just to like... Because you guys know I overdraw my lips a little bit. Um, but I want to do it really lightly because I'm going to go in with a liquid lipstick. So I'm just doing this to like... Not make a huge mess with my liquid lipstick when I overdraw them. I'm gonna use Kat Von D Lolita because I don't know about you guys but I'm gonna be kissing my boo on Valentine's Day so can't be using no gloss you gotta use a liquid lipstick that shit just don't budge. Alright now that my whole face is on we can go in with the dual fiber F50 brush and blend that baking out. Blend all this shit out. If you want to go back in with a highlight, do so. Like I am. So I feel like sometimes I just take it take away when I blend. I mean that's the whole point of blending, but you know what I mean. Like I want an intense highlight for this look. 
blend that nose job out. And if you want to mist your face with some setting spray, you can do so. I'm using the Unique Refreshed Rose Water. And that is it, guys. Let's take this hair down, because I actually did it again. <laughs> Are y'all proud of me? How about the color, though? Like, can we take a moment? Thank you to my girlfriend, Kim K. I love you. I'm so happy with my hair. I love the gray and the gold. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but I like, like, look at that. I think that shit is so cool. It's like you don't know where it starts or ends. Kind of. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm saying. I will be doing a hair tutorial soon since I got my hair done. Um, how to maintain it because I think I've bleached my hair in the same spots about eight times. And look at it. Let's just take a moment and just look at it. Look how healthy it looks and flowy. And doesn't it look like Victoria's Secret hair? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a video on that soon. I'll be on the lookout for that. And um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thanks for watching.